Go! Oh, go. God, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Esposito, 6th grade science here at Ralph Chan, the middle school, and... Mr. Goff, 6th grade math, Ralph, Ralph Chan, the middle, middle school. school. we got a special guest for you today. Come on in here. Let's go. Get right hey. inside the camera there. Oh. Once again, we got Come Destiny. Come on. Hey. There you go. Once again. All right. Once again. All right. Destiny's here. That's it? Yeah. Just going to help me. A lot of excitement here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. Take okay, a look. here we go. Okay, in math, um, just so you guys know, we have tests tomorrow. Math 7, you have a test on Chapter 5, all of it. <coughs> math 6, you have the first half of your Chapter 5 test. Okay? Now, something that people have had a little bit of question about in Math 7 is dividing mixed numbers. It's not that hard. It's, it's not, is It's really it? easy. It is. So, we're going to do one together, me and Destiny here. Destiny, when you see a problem like this, and it says, like, 2 and 3 fourths divided by 3 and 1 eighth, what do you got to do first? First, you change your improper fraction to a mixed number. That's right. We have to change these to mixed numbers. And how do you do that? Well, you take your denominator and multiply it by your whole number, right? Mm -hmm. And then add your numerator. So, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 3 is 11. 11. Very good. So, we have 11. Are you in here? 11 over 4. Divided by, and what's this next one? 3 and 1 eighth. What are we going to change that to? 4. 4 plus 1. Yep. Is 25. 25, good. 25 over 8. Now, Destiny, can I just divide fractions? No, you have to keep, keep the first number, change it, sign, and then flip it. That's correct. You have to keep this as 11 over 4, change the sign to multiply, and then flip this to 8 over 25. So class, you're never going to divide fractions. You're only going to multiply them. Pretty much. That's right. So now we can simplify. The 4 can be a 1 because 4 goes into 4 once. And 8 can become a 2 because 4 goes into 8 twice. And just multiply across. What's 11 times 2? 22. Very good. And what is 1 times 25? 25. Very nice. So we just did a problem there, everybody. And we get 22 over 25. It cannot be simplified. And that's our answer. That's just one example there. The Destiny, smart Destiny here, helped us out with. Eighth grade smart Destiny. Seventh right. grade. Seventh grade smart Destiny. <laughs> that's right. And all of us are smart in seventh grade math and sixth grade math. You guys are all doing a great job. That was just one little example I wanted to show. Now, Mr. Esposito, oh, what's going on? Mr. Esposito here, sixth grade science. Moms and dads, what do we do today? Today, I gave them, you know what? I, uh, we had the option. I could have given them either one long, big test. Or I said, I'm going to break it down into little segments. Instead of giving them a test grade, I'm going to give them several classroom assignment grades, which keeps them on the ball, keeps them on task. Make sure they've got little increments. Baby steps. You put one foot in, in front, front of, of the other. other. How's it go? And soon you'll be walking out the door. That's right. Little steps at a time. So I'm going to break it down into little Good steps to give them classroom <laughs> assignments. Moms and dads, what is it going to look like? Well, today I gave them a little... Broke up just like that, and I says it says number one. What is a plant tending towards the sun? What kind of tropism is that? Number two, a plant's roots growing towards water. What kind of tropism is that? Three, what kind of tropism is when their roots grow down, but the stems grow upward, but their roots grow downward? What's that one called? And the last one was when it responds to touch. What is that called? What kind of tropism? And the very last one was just explain to me in your own words what is a tropism. Good news is, I got these graded, I already gave them back to them, they're in their ISNs, and before they left my classroom today, they were already on the classroom portal. So everybody's grades are already recorded, they're home, we're rocking and rolling. Wow. Kids even off the bus today, as soon as they take the step off. Little Joey, congratulations, you got 100. Why, there was a lot of 80s, and there was a, but there was a tremendous amount of 100s. That means, Mr. Esposito, we're on the ball, we know what's going on. So, tomorrow we're going to start getting into... Uh, fungus and corn smut and wheat rust and how it attacks the stomata of wow. the plant so it can't open and close. It's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, moms and dads, Mr. Esposito, 6th grade science, Ralph Chan, the middle school land. Mr. Goff, 6th grade math, Ralph Chan, middle school land. Destiny. 8th grade. No, 7th no, grade. 7th grade. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Ralph Chan, the middle school. All Two right. thumbs up. Excellent. Two thumbs up.